In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a vector image in Canva and then convert it to an ESP. So it's going to be a super straightforward tutorial, but make sure you watch the video to the end and pay close attention to ensure you get every step correct and don't mess anything up. Let's get right into it. Okay, so to start off with here, we're actually going to need to jump into Canva and create our vector image. So to do that, we can just select a template. It really depends on what your needs are. You could do um, social media, document, whatever you want. I'm just going to start off here and I'm going to click on the um, document setting here. And in fact, I'm going to change the template to something a bit different. So I actually ended up going with this um, simple logo here and I'm just going to quickly change the logo a little bit. So I'm going to put Easy Earl here and you can see it's quite cool. It actually, you know, changes the logo depending on um, what I've done. Tutorials, so easy old tutorials. I think that's actually really cool. So now if we're happy with our logo or whatever we've got here, we want to go ahead and hit the share button at the top. So go up to the top right here, click on share, and then we want to go down to download. And a quick word of warning is that for this to work, you are going to need to have the pro plan on Canva, otherwise this will not work. So you want to go to download and for the file type, we want to go down and click on SVG. So that is the file type we need to use. So we'll click on that. And for me, it's going to say I have to you know, upgrade because I haven't got Canva Pro on here. But just click on that and yeah, the steps, the next steps are the same. So from there, we want to click on download. I'm just going to click on PNG and any second now it should download cool so now that we've gone ahead and downloaded the file we actually need to go to this new website called convertio.co so the domain is convertio.co then it's going to ask us to choose our file so we're going to click up here and i'm just going to drag in our file that we've just created now from here there's a little two section we're going to click the drop down here and i'm going to go all the way down to vector and we should see the file type that we need and there we go eps here so we're going to click that and now we can just click convert and it should take a second and there we go boom so now i can click download here it's downloaded into my files and if i had done the svg at the start it would have worked perfectly well. So that's basically how you go ahead and do it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it did help you out so other people can watch the same video and get the same great advice. Thank you for watching.